A New Mexico pawn shop owner fined for keeping her business open last week claims she didn't know about a GoFundMe page taking aim at the governor. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen spoke with the owner and the person behind the campaign. Jeannie. Jackie, the owner of the pawn shop, tells me she had no part in creating the fundraiser and does not agree with the attack on the governor. She appreciates the support but told the person behind the GoFundMe page to take down the picture. It's yet another problem for Diane Rowe, the owner of Papa's Pawn and Gun in Grants. I tried to explain to the officer why we were doing what we were doing and why we were supposed to be considered essential and he did not care. Last week, Rowe was fined $60,000 for keeping the store running before the governor allowed non-essential businesses to operate curbside. Since then, Rowe's received backlash but also support. Someone even created this GoFundMe page to help her raise money to help pay the hefty fine. It would be devastating to any business that's not a big box store. But if you take a closer look, you can see an altered image of Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham wearing what looks like a Nazi uniform with the New Mexico Zia symbol on her arm. Right next to the photo is the storefront of Papa's Pond. Rose says she was not behind the photo and by no means does it reflect her beliefs or her business. I personally would like to apologize to the Jewish community for that being put up next to um, our business logo. The woman who started the GoFundMe page did not want to interview with us, but posted this long statement on Facebook. In part, she says she was trying to support Papa's Pawn and apologized after being told it was offensive, but later changed her tone, claiming the photo was shared all over social media and she hasn't seen anyone get offended by it. But Roe made it clear she disagrees. I understand that it's, you know, inflammatory and hurtful, and we do need to be super mindful of people's feelings. A rabbi with the Jewish Federation of New Mexico told News 13 images like this are offensive and he disagrees with anyone using them as a political statement during this pandemic. To read the entire statement, head over to alwaysonkrqe.com. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. We have also reached out to the governor's office but have not heard back. The photo on the GoFundMe page has since been changed to an American flag.